Hello everyone, welcome to Connecting with the Q number 15. Today I'm with Division 2, Miss David and Miss Carmichael's kindergarten class. They were just dancing. Why were you dancing? Why were you dancing? Because the snow is going to come down the sea. We're hoping that oh, the it can come to see us for the snow dance. Yes, we're hoping, we're, we were doing a snow dance because we're kind of hoping we'll get lots of snow happening. Now we're going to read the book by Robert Munch and Michael Marchenko called Deep Snow. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Deep Snow. Oh, lots of beginning pages. Here we go. Way out in the middle of nowhere, Allie suddenly yelled, Stop! What's the matter, said her father. I want to jump in the snow, said Allie. No, said her sister, that is deep, deep, deep snow. I still want to jump in it, said Allie. That's not a good idea, said Kate. Allie stood up on the seat, gave her best yell, jumped out as far as she could, landed in the snow and disappeared. <laughs> Uh, all that was left was a hole in the snow. Oh, she's totally gone, said Kate. She's at the bottom of a drift. Kate, said her father, jump down that hole and help get Allie out. That's also a bad idea, said Kate. But she jumped down the hole anyway. <laughs> Have you been on a snowmobile before? Yes. Oh, yeah. oh that looks fun. For a long time, nothing happened. Then their father climbed off the snowmobile, crawled over to the hole in the snow and said, Hey, Allie, Kate, how are you doing down there? Allie and Kate said, <laughs> Because their mouths were full of snow. Their father said, Allie and Kate, speak clearly. I can't hear you. Allie got the snow out of her mouth and yelled, Get us out of here! Don't worry, said their father. He reached down the hole as far as he could, got hold of something, and pulled very hard. Allie yelled, Ah, that's my ear! Oh, so he let go of Allie's <laughs> ear, reached down the hole and got hold, hold of something else, and pulled very hard. Kate yelled, Ah, that's my nose! So he let go of Kate's nose, reached down the hole as far as he could, got hold of something else, and pulled very hard. Allie yelled, ah, that's my whip. Finally, their dad got hold of their ponytails and pulled as hard as he could, and Allie and Kate came flying out of the hole. Good, said their dad, now we can go. No, we can't, said Allie and Kate. Our boots are still at the bottom of the hole. Ah, oh, rats, said their father. He crawled over to the hole, reached down as far as he could. He didn't find their boots, so he reached way, way, way down and fell into the hole. Whoop! Only his boots were sticking up out of the snow. <laughs> Allie crawled over to the boots and said, Hey, Dad, how are you doing down there? Their father said, <laughs> Because his mouth was full of snow. Speak clearly, said Kate. We can't understand you. <laughs> said their father. And then he got the snow out of his mouth and yelled, Get me out of here! <laughs> Allie and Kate took hold of their dad's feet and pulled as hard as they could. Nothing happened. This is very bad, said Allie. Daddy will have to stay there till springtime. Hmm. How can he fly his jet if he is stuck at the bottom of a hole? Then Kate got an idea. She ran over to the snowmobile mobile, and got a rope. She tied one end of the rope around their father's foot and tied the other end to the snowmobile. Then Allie and Kate jumped on the snowmobile and went down the trail as fast as they could. That was a good idea. Look at the dog. Their father 
came flying up out of the hole and bounced down the trail after the snowmobile yelling, ouch, ouch, stop, stop. So Kate stopped the snowmobile and there was their father laying in the snow. Daddy, said Allie, you didn't get our boots after all. We're gonna have to do it again. All right, said the father, let's do it again. He tied the rope to Allie and Kate's feet and dropped them in the hole. And he came by later in his jet to get them out. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good story. Do you think we'll need jets or snowmobiles if we make very big holes in our snow tomorrow? No, Hoping yeah. for some snow tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Or maybe we can pull you on your toboggans. That would be fun. No, so I, I, I don't have a toboggan. Who's, who's, who's hoping for snow tomorrow? Me. Okay, let's cross our fingers, cross our arms, cross our toes, cross our legs, and do one more little snow dance wiggle. And then we're going to say thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>